All right, we're here. Let's unpause and continue. We have it The Blarg is just not greeting me well in this part. He's just so mean. Oh, upward slope. By the way, you can just walk up and down these when you're on a slope like that. So you don't have to jump to uh, get... For <clears throat> Excuse me. It looks like you have to jump on them because they're like stairs. They're steep. But you can actually walk on those skulls upward. Oh, shoot. Bad spin jump. <laughs> Hopefully I won't die. That would be quite bad. Especially since I did not hit that midpoint back there. <clears throat> um... No, I don't want to die. Okay, <laughs> I didn't want the shell to bounce back. Let go for piranha plants. Tread lightly here. And back on the skulls. Okay, I can demonstrate it here. You can walk up and down these without jumping. That's a much easier way to control than jumping. And that looks like it is it for Vanilla Dome 3. <clears throat> yeah, that was 3, right? I think it was 3. Oh, bonus game. We'll see after the bonus game. Okay, stand here for flowers. Oh, I got stars. Well, if I get eight stars, oh, I just screwed up. Oh, really screwed it up. Got one up, though. Do, 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 do. Peace, dogs. <laughs> yes, that was three. Check that off. And let's go to four. And woohoo! We are in night. How, the, what, how do we get outside? We are inside the mountain! Come to think of it, if this is Vanilla Dome, why the heck is there lava? All that ice that's in there should be melted. This is a weird dome, I must say, or I should say a weird cave. Oh, see these green things? I hate these things. They just don't work very well for me. If you stand too close to the edge, they kind of sli slip you off, strangely. I don't, I don't know why. They're just kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, they aren't bad, it's just, I don't like using them, because sometimes, as I said, you slip off. The further off to the edge that isn't attached to whatever it's attached to, you're on, the better, because you'll get a higher spring to your jump. And, got some pranas. Whoa, what the heck? <laughs> I forgot, I completely forgot about that. Good thing I hit the midpoint, because this is going to get ugly. Uh, yeah. Can I kill, oh, you can kill bullets with a shell. I must be thinking of, whoa, a bonsai bill or something. And, whoa, that worked. <laughs> and I almost went face first. And, see, you slip off them just like I showed you there. Anyway, face forward into a Koopa is not the way you want to go. <laughs> For these are the snapping variety of turtles. Let's check off Vanilla Dome 4 on our list and continue on to Lemmy's Castle. I think it's Lemmy. Uh, yes, it is. Awesome. <clears throat> okay, we need Kemek there. Wait for him to go on the bottom floor. There we go. Okay, wait for it. Okay, there we go. Um, go down here. Look out for... Oh, yeah. He, he turns blocks into uh, enemies. This is a pretty tricky castle, actually. But uh, don't worry, we can do it. Grab the switch, by the way. We're going to need it for something. See this door? Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think so. Hit that. Oops. Hit that, okay. And go up here. Get up here. Oh, wait a second. Please tell me I can... Hold on. I don't... There we go. Okay, that's the way you get to the door. There's a midpoint here. That's the reason why you want to go in the store. Because we can start back over here. Now we go through here. Oh, shoot! <laughs> I kind of jumped the gun there. Okay, a midpoint was definitely a good idea there. Because I just died right in the lava. Lava is definitely the way to go if you want to have a facial peel. <laughs> but I think it'll peel more skin off than uh, you want. <laughs> and we're waiting for layer 2 lava sinking. Don't worry, you're safe here. <sighs> and then jump down here, and then you can jump across here. I'm pretty sure you can get across there from... Whoa, photoboo. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you can get across there if you jump from the top, but it's just safer to wait for that second uh, level to uh, to fall down. And get up here, watch out for the dry bones. Yeah! Uh, and we're waiting. And we're waiting. We gotta avoid the portable. Get this mushroom if you want, it's safe to get it. And then we gotta do a little uh, acrobatic move to get through that little opening before we get squished. In case you haven't noticed, both those blocks move at the same rate in that opening. And they're especially hard to get through when you're big. So let's just duck and jump through it. That is a nice technique. Duck jumping, hold duck, 
hold the uh, down and jump. And woo, let's go. Oh boy, portable. <laughs> I hate those potables really. I mean they're just they're so surprising. You just never expect them to pop until they're right in your face. Ah, oh, or uh, dry bones, those work too. <laughs> but only I seen that coming and I just played stupid. <laughs> and let's go up the block elevator. Ooh, what's in here? Ooh, it's a good thing I hit that green switch, isn't it? I got a power. Okay, you gotta find which one is the real one. The real one looks different than the rest of them. The other ones are just dolls. And this is the real one! Got it! Yeah, just jump on it, no problem. Avoid the portable. If you can't get a hit in, just just let it go. He'll come back up. And that's it! Woo! Yeah! Do -do 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 -do. And that's it for the castle. Let's check this off our list while we watch Mario destroy the castle in another hilarious way. Oh, he's got a hammer. Oh, boy. <laughs> I always love how he destroys the castles. Mario has triumphed over Lemmy Koopa of Castle 3. Mario's quest is starting to get much more difficult. Have you found the red and green switches yet? Why, yes, I have. And you have, too, if you've been following this walkthrough. And the yellow one, too. And before we continue, let's save and let's go back to the secret area. I believe I need to hit a, a future Switch Switch Palace in order to unlock this area. I mean, to unlock the Star Road for this area. But let's just see how it goes. And yeah. <laughs> oh, how did I kill him? It's just like I jumped on him twice in a short period, like a half second. And got more of these annoying springs. I hate those things. Oh wait, this isn't the right way, but there is something. There's a coin there. There's a Koopa. Ooh! A vine. Gotta love the vines. Essential for climbing in the Mario world. That's the only way to reach different heights. Unless you have a Lakitu Cloud. Okay, I believe the secret exit is... Yeah, it's this way. I need to grab this springboard and use it over there. But, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to hold off there. I can't uh, unlock that area until I uh, get the... What was that? Red switch? <laughs> I forgot. Oh well, I suck. <laughs> and go through this pipe and that looks like it's the end of this level. Very soon, I should say. Whoa boy, football is... Ah! Football is a dangerous sport. Do not play football. You have. We will have lifelong injuries. <laughs> and that is it for Vanilla Secret 1. Not the secret exit, I will be back there much, much later when I uh, get the Switch Palace. But let's go through the pipe, and let's go into the next area. Let's start with the secret ones first, Vanilla Secret 2. Um, uh-oh, we're lo running low on camera. Let's see how much we can get in this part, just to kind of like fill out the part, and then I'll stop, and yeah, you'll have another part waiting for you. <laughs> and uh, a lot of Koopas. Maybe I should grab one and see what's in that block. Gimme, give gimme, give okay. What's in there? Feather! Yay! Now I'm powered up. Uh, looks like we're really low on camera, so I shall see you guys in the next part. Whenever it kind of beeps me off. Ow! Ow.